Jiggity jig, back, back at the reno again. It's Friday afternoon, about 3.45. Gonna let the reno begin. I actually came here at lunch today, removed these because we are going through. So we're gonna make a walk space like through here. We're gonna take off as much as we can right here by the fireplace. The fireplace goes through to the living room. And so we're doing stone all the way up and cutting off as much as we can, making a walk walkway through here. Our my brother-in-law was an H, HVAC technician for a long time and said it's not gonna be a big deal just to remove that because there's another one right there. Um, that's like an air return duct and it's pretty small, so he said, don't even worry about it. So we're gonna go through there. I don't know if we're gonna start that today or tomorrow. For me, my goal by the end of the day today is to have the bathroom totally gutted. I don't have much work to do. Obviously, I got the tub to get out. I'll have to cut, cut that out and then get this out and then the floors. I think that's a good goal. Rach, do you know, is your dad coming over to work tonight? I think so. Good, because I'll need someone to help yeah. me carry, carry that vanity. It's starting to feel like home here already. Got my ice maker set up. It's already made several batches of ice that I've already eaten. It can't keep up with me. We've got the kids set up. They played really well all afternoon, so they're enjoying a show. <laughs> I remember doing this probably really close to their age when my parents built like the lake house that we, we lived in Kansas City and then they built a lake house. And I remember being there when it was under construction a lot and like hanging out oh, yeah. on floors that look like this. And Did your dad do a lot of the work himself? Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. So do you want to do a progress update? Who's that? Shannon. Uh, yeah, the, uh, it actually went pretty smooth. You know, I've said this a million times. It's all about the tools that you have. Yeah. Thank God I have this little mini jackhammer thing because it saved my back when it came to getting the tile floor up. And then there were, uh, there were two two by sixes here, and those were a beast. I like, had to go between the jackhammer, the grinder, the saw, just like back and forth through all that stuff. Finally got it down. But it's getting kind of late, so it's probably, you know, we shouldn't be using the power tools right. much later because our neighbors are so dark close. We're making them brownies. Yeah, we are making them brownies. And our yeah, and ourselves. Another day is done of demo. It's nine o'clock and we have neighbors. So I stopped hammering like around 7.30. I think that's, that's, that's reasonable. Earlier today, you know, opening this up makes a huge difference. I really can't wait till tomorrow when we knock through that wall. I was able to accomplish my goal, which was to Ripped the tub out. That tub was no joke. It was so heavy. Thank God Rachel's dad, Dennis, came over to help me. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it myself for sure. Um, let me back up here and show. Basically an empty room, a blank canvas, if you will. So tomorrow I'll also basically cut here, to here, um, we're gonna do like a shower caddy insert deal there, and then the plumbing's gonna be here, so it'll be rerouted from where it was right there in this wall, and it'll be plumbed into here. Luckily, Rachel's dad, Dennis, can do that. You know, believe it or not, it's really not that hard. The thing that would scare me though is, like if I didn't do it correctly, and there being a leak, behind the wall, that would be a huge problem. Uh, so 
I'll let Rachel's dad do that. We got an estimate from the plumber and they said $1,200 just to reroute that plumbing. Uh, so Dennis is like, I can, I can definitely do that myself. So it's nice to have a, a handy father-in-law and that's, you know, really the main reason why we took on this project. Well, for one thing, it's always been a dream of mine to renovate, like do massive renovations to a property. Like ever since I watched my first HGTV show, I was hooked, like flip or flop. Uh, ever since then, like, you know, 10 years ago, I've been wanting to do a project like this. Um, and we have a really handy father-in-law, Rachel's dad, and brother-in-law, Shannon, and he has a good buddy who's like super nice and willing to help out whenever he can. He's actually the one that drove my school bus from North Carolina all the way to Missouri. So many hands to help us makes light work, that's for sure. Um, even though I haven't really had much help yet. <laughs> it will, it will be soon though. All right, closing up and going home. Good morning. Let's see, what day of reno demo is this? We had a little bit of time on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So day five, this is Saturday. Day five, Eloise, are you ready? You look adorable. Brad took the twins, they went on over. They're stopping at the Hoffa's to pick up some of the furniture that we left over there. I guess I'm gonna have a sideburn today. Um, Cause that's not gonna stay behind my ear. Anyway, he took them on over to pick up some stuff. I think Lala's coming over, which will be nice. The biggest trick is having like someone to entertain the kids while we're working. So I usually end up playing with the kids and Brad demos. But I can sometimes paint while I'm watching them. Okay, let's go get to work. We've made some very slow progress this morning. I have been putting light covers back on and then taking off light covers and like outlet covers where we still need to paint. Putting them back on where we've already painted. Buck just got here, she's gonna help paint too. Let me see what's up here. We got some kids eating lunch out here. Aww. I know. This patio is nice. Yes, it is very nice. Might be good to get a little umbrella. Yeah. Get coconut juice. Huh? Coconut. Get coconut juice. Coconut juice. We've had a few golfers come through already this morning. Coconut. We've got all the doors opened coconut up downstairs. No, I'm, ca oh. I'm calling it coconut juice. Yummy. Um, you got shrimp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yummy lunch. Peanut butter and jelly and shrimp. Mmm. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's so kind. Oh, and right? crackers. And crackers. That looks really and good, you guys. How fun. Sit out here in the sunshine. That's nice. Yeah. We all need to be good team players. What's the use of one more selfish pig? Even if you're the messiest monkey, close your mouth when you're munching your food. Got them set up in the air. Eloise, set up in here. <laughs> Good napping conditions. It's also gonna storm. This afternoon it's supposed to storm pretty good. I wonder if these golfers are gonna make it, so. They still got about halfway to go, about two hours. I don't think they're gonna make it. I can see you. I see you too. <laughs> hey, Brad. Let's not be stupid. Hold on. <laughs> oh, the the band-aid. What band-aid? 
so I could literally like feel the nail go into the penetrate the arm. Oh. <laughs> and then the, and then he this. almost passed out. <laughs> and then I was like, Yes, you have to shake it. Don't just look at me. No, can he, you help? Yeah, no, you come up and you were showing it to me and it just didn't look that bad and you're like, Can you help? Can you help? Can you help? Can you help? Can well, you help? Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you like, get a band-aid? I didn't know what you wanted me to do. I thought you were just showing me, and then you were going to put a band-aid on it yourself. That's what I would have done. <laughs> you wouldn't have put ice on it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, this was my first construction injury in this site. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. She's okay. Taste test. And then turns out we're on our last can of paint, which... No, we have two. Oh, okay. Well, we should... That's not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Oh, wee wee. Seriously? Testing it. Everyone's going to the neighbors to drop off cards and brownies. Progress report. Got all the uppers because we're ordering new white shaker style upper cabinets, 42 inches. And open shelving too. And open, so we'll do the sh the. White shakers here. We'll do open shelving over there. Over here will be the refrigerator nook with a cabinet on the side of it, a cabinet in the bottom, and a countertop on top. We're gonna stone in the fireplace. We're gonna chop this off, make it a big island. Kevin, unfortunately Kevin. <laughs> Kevin was gonna be here around 12 or one. Unfortunately, his truck broke down, uh, so he didn't get here till an hour ago, but he's been a huge help since he's gotten here. Um, and I got the bathroom completely renoed or demoed. I shouldn't say renoed, I should say demoed. So that's awesome. Look how big of an impact having a walkthrough doorway there. That's going to be huge. So glad we did it. And then the stone going all the way up, that's gonna be awesome. I to put their arms around, so it's hard to jump. I wonder why we so it for five years. How long has it been, Brad, since you've done a progress report? Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. Yep, it's looking good. Most dramatic differences. For sure. From both in here and out there. So tomorrow when I come, Tomorrow when I come, I'm gonna take this off, take this off. Mm -hmm. Let's see what, see if we can cut it. Yeah. See what that's gonna look like. Yeah, we're cutting that down. I can't hey, tell guys, you. Look how dirty that is now. Look at that. You both did. <laughs> look at Eloise. Are you ready for bed? Right